Have you ever gotten a straight in poker? If you did, did you know what the odds and probability were of it happening? If you didn't, stick around, because we're going to figure it out. So this is for simple five card draw poker where there are no extra cards and no community cards. You might want to watch our permutations and combinations tutorials first in order to fully understand the calculation. Disclaimer, we do not encourage gambling. Remember, the house always wins. So to fully understand these calculations, you may also want to check out our presentation on the Royal Flush and the Straight Flush. Let's get down to it. So right off the bat, what is a straight? A straight is when we have five cards all in sequence of their ranks. So for example here, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or you could have eight, nine, ten, jack, queen. And what makes a straight quite common is that the suits can all be mixed up. Okay, the suits don't matter at all. They can be anything. So how many possible combinations of straights are there? Let's take a look. So for the sequences, we can have ace, two, three, four, five. We could have two, three, four, five, six. We could have three, four, five, six, seven. If we count all those, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten possible sequences of straights. So straight away we have 10c1, like so. And then we also have to worry about the suits. Each card has four possible suits. So we need 4c1 five times. Like that. And what makes this one kind of hard is that what we have here is not finished. This also includes straight flushes and royal flushes. We have to actually deduct them from this to get the number of possible simple straight hands. So how many straight flushes are possible? Hopefully you've checked out our presentation. 9c1 times 4c1. And royal flushes, there are 4c1 royal flushes. Let's write this all numerically. 10c1 is 10. And then 4c1s are all 4 each. Oof. And then the number of straight flushes is 9 times 4, which is 36, and the number of raw flushes is 4. So minus 36 minus 4 is going to just become minus 40. But instead of writing 40, I'm going to write 10 times 4. So I'm not going to do this on the calculator yet. I want to get a nice, easy expression of factors so we can cancel over there later. So what I'm going to do now is factor out 10 times 4. And then I'm going to open a set of brackets. And what's going to be inside? 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 minus. So this times this will give all this stuff. This times what gives this? That's just going to be 1. Continuing on, 10 times 4. What's all this stuff here in the brackets? 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Ugh. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64 times 4 again is 256 minus 1, which is 255. And I'm not quite going to do that on the calculator just yet. 10 times 4 times 255. I just want to factor that. 255. Well, it's got a 5 on the end. It must be divisible by 5. 5 into 25 goes 5. 5 into 5 goes once. Okay, so 255 can be written as 51 times 5. So that's enough of the suspense. How many possible straights are there? Multiplying all that out, we're going to get 10,200 hands of different combinations of straights are possible. Let's check out the probability. Let's write this number up here. But instead of writing it like this, I'm going to write it like this. So it's going to cancel easily later on, like so. So there we go, 10,200 possible straights, dividing by 52C5, the total number of poker hands possible out of five cards. This all just copies down here, and we divide by this expression so it gets inverted and multiplied. Factorial 5 comes down here, and 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 48 copies down here, and we got our expression, the total number of straights there. Phew, that was pretty hard work. Let's do some cancelling. But the good news is, the cancelling is kind of cool here. Check this out. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 4 is 48. 5 times 2 is 10, okay, so that 50 turns into a 5, 
And what do you notice? We've got a 51 and a 51. Oh, that's handy. We've got a 5 and a 5. Wow, getting even easier. What's left? We've got a 10 and a 52, both even. Divide by 2, we get 5. Divide by 2, we get 26. That is it. Let's see what comes out there. 5 over 26 times 49. And that boils down to 5 over 1,274. Upon dividing 5 by 1,274, we get 0.39% after we multiply by 100. Less than 1%. Pretty rare. Let's talk about the odds now. So for every 1,274 poker hands dealt, you could probably expect 5 straights. So for every 5 straights that you get, doing the subtraction here, you probably expect about 1,269 hands to not be straights. Dividing both of these by 5, you'll get 253.8 exactly to 1. So now you know what a straight is, and the probability of it happening in a simple 5 card draw poker game. Thanks again for watching.